Hi everyone, this is Jessie and I have another video for you today. This one's pretty simple. It's just me rendering this drawing and yeah, I just wanted to put something out. Uh, but right now we have this video, so relatively short. So yeah, today we are drawing Liushen, which some of you may know is something that I like. I'm surprised that I've liked it for as long as I have. I guess, you know, something that makes me stand a ship for a long time is when I like both of the characters a lot. There are a lot of ships where you only like one character a lot and the other characters like, okay, projection character, whatever. But Shen Qingqiu is also just such a great character, so yeah, that's why I still love Liu Shen, still going strong, still feel motivated to make content. Yeah, I guess I mainly want to draw Scum Villain because there's less content for it. And I guess I'm into a mission reader's viewpoint right now too, but to be honest, there's only so much you can draw of that because it's, it's hard to draw fan art for, like the only setting that we really know of is like a city or space. So you have two variations for backgrounds and then the characters wear black and white, which is also like you have to put more effort into making it look appealing and there's only so many color palettes that I can think of for it. So, yeah, I do have some odd ideas for that. Well, the reason why I got into Omniscient Reader's viewpoint is because I started having more time due to everything being online now. So, I started reading Manhua in maybe September and I was binge reading every day. I must have read like at least a hundred series. And I was starting a new one every other day. It was just a wild time and I'm finally slowing down. So let's see how many months that is. Like October, November, December, January, February, March. So it took me half a year to slow down on binging Manhua. And one of the main reasons why I'm slowing down is because I just read most of what's out there already, but also because I think I'm kind of getting over it, thankfully. I mean, I can read it at a more healthy pace now. So chapters are usually weekly releases, that's normal, but when you think about it, it's just like... You only get a significant amount of development in about 30 chapters, right? So let's say there are 30 chapters out. To find out what happens for the arc, you have to wait an entire year. And they only release chapters about 30 weeks in the year because there's like this uh, off period during the year. So it's usually around December so they can actually have a break but all the other weeks of the year that making a chapter per week. And I, I completely understand it because shit, like drawing that much each week already must be really difficult. But just like objectively as a reader, when you think about the fact that a series might take like five years to finish, oh, it's just, it's so slow. And reading weekly, it's just like, if anime was split into like, one minute episode per week, it just feels so slow. Yeah, um, actually we have a convention announcement for Australia, so I believe there was another convention earlier, I'm not sure. Didn't go because it wasn't really an anime convention, it was more of a comic and gaming convention. So it's gonna be my first convention in a while, and I'm pretty excited. 
Sorry if I don't sound that excited, my throat hurts, but... Yeah, I have to reapply because I was accepted before, but they're redoing the applications. And hopefully I'll get in. Usually I'm more confident, but they're gonna have less spots due to social distancing. But I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun because I'm hoping that there will be a decent turnout since people are missing conventions right now. And to be honest, financially, not being able to do conventions has affected me. Fun fact, I've been doing art lessons in Fiverr. I guess you can look for me there if you want to. But as it is, I think I have enough work on Fiverr. I'm wondering if I should, yeah, slow down a little bit. But yeah, I'm super looking forward to that convention. And... I had ordered stock for last year's conventions and didn't end up doing them so I have all this extra stock at home so I need to sell that off. And I'm super looking forward to meeting all my convention friends again and talking and just being able to interact with everyone. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, hopefully. If nothing goes wrong, knock on wood, because, mm, I mean, I think everyone can say from the past year that life is really unpredictable. So originally I wanted to post on YouTube once a month, which is already not super frequent, but yeah, I don't think I can do it. I mean, I want to come to that point eventually, but I'm not there yet because it's already so difficult running all my social media. I mean, I have like Twitter, Tumblr, Pixiv, Instagram, DeviantArt. I'm doing YouTube as well. And YouTube is just another thing in itself because I have to record and edit the video. Even though now recording is pretty easy, I actually have enough footage for several videos, but taking the time to edit the video I, I just don't have time um, between running social media and also jobs, so I'm working right now. Yeah, and I'm technically working multiple jobs because of the pandemic. The, it sounds worse than it is because the jobs are less hours, but also I'm like physically pretty weak, so even just doing like a normal workload for me is pretty difficult so yeah uh i am going to give up on uploading on youtube regularly if it happens it happens and this is just this is purely as a hobby purely because i'm like hmm speed paint go brr like it's just something for fun but also oh just being an adult is hard man but i have more than one hobby and i only have time for like one hobby my mundane stuff but I have to do cooking and cleaning too and make time for sport as well just so I'm not physically decrepit. I hope you enjoy these videos regardless. So as I said I do have enough content for several videos it's just editing them is kind of the issue. I'm going to stop promising another video soon from now on because I can't guarantee that, it just depends on my schedule. The problem with being a freelancer is that I do not know my schedule until it comes. Until maybe the week before. So some months I'm just fasted, and some months it's a breeze. So it really depends. And probably just one more downside, I mean... One more thing that's holding me back from editing is that it requires using my wrist and I don't have a great wrist because of drawing so it's not the best combination. That's what I get for having all my hobbies involve my hands I suppose.
Yeah, I hope you don't mind this format of video. I just wanted to try something different because it was getting kind of repetitive just me talking about my process, which is basically the same in every video. And yeah, I would like to continue doing this kind of video, just chatting about what's going on or chatting about the series and characters that I like. And here are the finished drawings. Pure self-indulgence, we love it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. You can find me on my social media. I haven't been posting as much lately, but if you're a Liu Shen fan, I will have stuff up for Liu Shen week, so prepare yourself. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.